Indie Mogul. Hello everyone, welcome to Backyard Effects, the only show that teaches you how to make your own special effects for cheap. This week I'm building a really cool movie prop made famous by Taxi Driver. I am of course referring to the hidden quick draw rig. You talking to me? Huh? You talking to me? Here on BFX, we have a long tradition of recreating blockbuster special effects for less than $50. Batman effects, Star Wars effects, Indiana Jones effects, Matrix effects, and more. But this week we're creating a little gizmo that straps to your wrists and pops up a little gun that can be hidden beneath your sleeve. This was made famous in movies like Taxi Driver, Alien Resurrection, and Desperado. And now to determine our budget, let's hear it for Gary! You know, sometimes, just sometimes, I feel like Gary doesn't love his job. Two Velcro straps, a drawer slide, a spring, some scrap rubber mat from the lightsaber build, miscellaneous nuts and bolts, miscellaneous mending plates and L brackets, some leftover copper tubing from the Hellboy gun, an old key ring, about two feet of metal wire, and some scrap foam. Have you ever made a movie or a video? Yes. <laughs> what was it about? Explosive clam sauce? A driver ed video. It was kind of gory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we used ketchup. The first step is to take apart our drawer slide. This type of drawer has three sliding sections, and we're going to use the small and middle sized pieces. But first, we're going to focus on the middle sized slide rail and a cut down version of the little ball bearing slide that goes inside it. Basically, what I did here was attach a small mending plate to the slide for added strength, then slid it back into the frame rail but upside down. This way, the back of the bolts have clearance for the whole thing to slide. With the stable slide mechanism complete, now we have to figure out how to attach a spring and a firing mechanism. The key to the spring and trigger system is a custom plate I cut out of a thin mending plate using my rotary tool. It looks like this. Here's the part that holds the back of the spring, and here's the part that will click into the trigger release. The other end of the spring attaches to a little tab on the front of the slide railing. Now onto the trigger system. It looks like this and all you'll need is two mending plates, an L bracket, some nuts and bolts, and a little spring, and you're set. The trigger is activated by a thin cable that runs through a copper tube and then attaches to an old key ring. At this point we're ready to put everything together. Under the slide rail with the big old mending plate as the bottom. When you bolt this mending plate in place, you can use the back bolt to attach your trigger system. Now take your custom cut plate and the smaller metal slide you set aside in the beginning and bolt them to the ball bearing slide itself. When everything is in place, it should work like this. Slide it back, it locks into place like so. You put the ring on your finger and flick your wrist, the trigger releases, and the slide shoots out. The last step is to glue in some extra padding, add some extra grease, and of course, screw on the toy gun of your choice. All right, so now you know how to build this awesome rig, but before you go building it or even using it, we need to talk safety. First off, this is a spring-loaded rig, so depending on how strong a spring you use, this could easily hurt yourself or someone else. Second, this rig is to be used exclusively on a closed and secured set, not out on the street. And attached to the end is for props only. Be, be careful! careful. You talking to me? Oh, f I just broke it. All right, that wraps up another build episode of BFX. Make sure and check us out tomorrow for the original short featuring the quick draw rig. And if you want us to keep making this awesome and free content, you gotta subscribe. Somewhere around here is a button, click it. And if you've already subscribed, then tell a friend to subscribe because this boat don't run on dreams. Actually, it sort of does. One of the most common video mistakes is making constant movements and adjustments to the camera. Be deliberate when making an adjustment. 
Don't make changes without reasons.